Hey everybody, my 3D printer people, it's John here again with GeoDroid John. In the last video I showed you I, I found or rediscovered my Phil Struder filament maker. And let's just take a little walk through how this works really quick. So the way it, the, the principle is, is that you put plastic pellets inside the hopper and it goes into an auger. That auger is powered through this shaft coupling through the socket that they attach to a, a servo stepper. Um, I think I'm calling that right. That is powered all the way for all these wires to the back through this temperature control box and through these main switches. It has an onboard display. You can increase the speed and you can increase the temperature of the filament. So what it's supposed to do this is the cold end, this is the hot end, this is the, the cooling end. So you put the filament in, or the pellets in, very fresh pellets, make sure they're clean and dehydrated. It pushes those pellets through with the auger at a certain speed. It gets really hot right here. And at the end it has a, I believe this is set up for 1.75 millimeter nozzle. <clears throat> And I'm not sure about the science of it, but they make it a little bit bigger because it shrinks when it comes out. And this is supposed to be mounted in a fashion where as it's coming out, it actually cools the part and goes right over these little washers. And then it rolls down. And the design is most supposed to be vertical like this, or at least at 45 degrees. <clears throat> and if you look at the video, I'm gonna link in the description and in the card right now, you'll see that I actually got this thing up and running and I was actually able to use some filament. There were some metal pieces in it though. So there is new versions of this coming out, but I'm, I'm psyched to use this and give us another shot and see what kind of things I can get to print out of this because I have a lot of filaments and uh, I want to reduce that down to a certain uh, that cost down. So that should be fun. So let's get to making 3D printer filament. Let's get back to fixing our machines. Let's keep what we have. There are so many 3D printer channels, and all they do is talk about new printers, new printers, new printers. Well, what do you do? Where do you go if you already got a printer? You gotta keep that thing running. And with things like this, you can find new passion in the hobby. And we're gonna, together, we're gonna work together to find some new stuff that we can do with our old machines. Because when you got a bunch of machines laying around, <laughs> like a Delta and a Mendel, and whatever else I have inside, you kind of want to take care of what you got instead of just going out and buying new stuff. So let's do that together, 3D printer people. I'm John, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.